welcome to my channel my name is Marguerite and if you're new please subscribe and click the notification bell and today is basically about uh, speaking um, of uh, interview questions have you got a job interview that you're preparing then you are at the right place today because we're going to talk about five tips that will help you obtain your dream job so basically if you apply these five tips there's no reason why your employer wouldn't choose you because whenever you go to an interview it's nice to be enthusiastic but above all it's important to be knowledgeable okay because you want to impress your employer you want to be the best candidate because whenever there is a job in the market a job uh, vacancy there are many people applying for the same job so you want to give yourself a chance to be the best candidate okay so it's important to be the best candidate so let's dive straight into this uh, video so number one will be your interview preparation you got to prepare you don't just go to a job interview without preparation so it's important to have a really really strong preparation for this interview so now for interview preparation you're going to ask yourself uh think about potential questions that are likely to be asked and then also think about the potential question you are likely to ask because the same way the employer asks you questions in the end you want to ask him a few questions about the company just to show that you've you've got an interest so the question you can ask for instance is uh, how long? Uh, well, I w I, w I want I want to say something first because you must show also that you've been um, sort of study well the questions and so the answer you give must be accurate. Don't just give an answer. Think about the answer you gave. That's why preparation is important. And the employer for an for instance like you to ask a question like, what are your strengths? And weaknesses so you gotta think about these questions and give a nice answer without hesitation when you get there and they would also possibly ask you a question like what are your plans in five years time and your plans must be revolved around the company and you can say things like "Why well, my plan is to keep working with you if you approve me and if you like my job then I'm um, I see myself working here and perhaps have a promotion in this company so and to make sure that you speak positively so it's all about positivity and optimism okay so if for instance they ask you uh, a question of um, what is your weakness don't just give a weakness that is so scary to the employer so you can say things like well I don't really think I have so many weakness but um, sometimes perhaps I do take so much so much tax in work like for instance i'm someone in work i had to sometimes help other people so but my work must be the priority first so your work make sure your tax is well done so a witness can be taking so much tax like helping too much uh, colleagues with their own work when yours is not even met yet okay so sometimes you gotta learn to see focus and achieve what is required from you first so as we are talking about uh, interview questions so basically prepare you for your weakness and your strength but hopefully they are likely to ask you a lot of questions regarding your strength for instance what are you likely to bring to the company you got to be able to answer them tell them for instance that you can bring great customer service skills then the employer will be happy because then there's someone who can do so well in customer service or great communication skill so you are a great communicator they like that in work because you will be able to communicate with their customers so you study all your questions perfectly well and now you also study a question that you can ask to your employer for instance what are yet their greater challenge and I'm sure she'll have to answer you okay 
so now we spoke about the questions so after preparation we're going to talk about number two the dress code what are you going to wear for your interview so where according to where you're going to the job you aiming at if for instance you are attending a, a, a bank appointment you can wear a suit or any other retail perhaps a shirt but if you're in doubt about the dress code you can ask the employer they always so kind to help you to let you know what sort of dress or code they are expected is expected of you and uh, speaking about um, a, 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 a dress code you mustn't forget your hairstyle hairstyle is so important the hair the way you style your hair for an interview because your body language will speak louder okay so you want to dress according to your job if you're going for uh, any job and anyway let's something by saying that make sure your hair are well combed well styled okay and you are wearing the correct dress code for your interview now the shoes are also important to make sure you're wearing the right shoes for your interview and sometimes it's not essential to bring a handbag things like that or but it depends if you feel comfortable taking your, your handbag do but just think carefully about having a handbag to an interview because it can be on your way for instance you get to an interview the moment the interview is about to start you're looking at where to keep your handbag or you know things like that yeah sometimes you want to avoid you can all have the basic essential stuff you need um right now we talk about the dress code so you know that you got to prepare for your uh for your clothes the night before don't look for your clothes the same day because in the morning, if your interview, for instance, is at 9 or 8, you just want to wear your clothes and go. Okay? So now we can talk number three, your CV. It's essential to have a strong CV and or the application you made online. You make sure that you will you know the questions uh, you've answered on your application or in your CV, whatever you wrote there, you remember them well. Because the aim is to answer correctly and to give the same answer you gave in your CV. Because, um, for instance, if you said you was a great communicator in your CV, you don't want to get before the employer and say that, well, you're not so much of a great communicator because they remember what they read on your CV. It's the reason why they called you for an interview because your CV already spoke light or loud on your behalf your cv did impress them and they called you for an interview so when you get there make sure that you speak well of your cv again okay so i will say i will give you a tip for instance to prepare a strong cv you must sell yourself well okay tell them good stuff about you and then they're likely to call you for an interview so make sure because there are many people applying for jobs out there and sometimes for one job you can have 10 or 15 people applying for the same job so what you make sure is that don't be afraid to add that you're excellent you can say i'm excellent communicator don't be scared and that hopefully will attract them they think oh people have put good communicator in their cv but this person says she's excellent or he's excellent so i want to hear from this person you tell them i'm a, i'm excellent and at achieving customer service don't be afraid because you got to use those words if you believe you are and um, i'm sure of course that you can be you are and you tell them those stuff i'm excellent and they will call you and then they will hear from you and now if you put in your cv that you're excellent please make sure when you get there you show them that excellence okay <laughs> don't put excellence down and then <laughs> let yourself down so you got to prepare strongly for being the best candidate put yourself in a place of optimism and tell yourself i'm gonna get there and get this job there's no way i'm not getting i will get this job because I will answer all those questions nicely. And you're not only telling yourself that, but you prepare for it. Okay. Now, um, we're going to speak now about um, uh, company research. You must research on company before going there. Research how long the company has been in the market. Research what are the company profit. You can even go and search for profit and losses. Things like that. And you can Google the company and 
know a lot more, be knowledgeable about the company. So sometimes they will ask you, what do you know about this company, our company? So you'll be able to tell them uh, something about their company. Then they will know that you're showing interest in their company. Okay? So researching a company, research how long they've been, as we said, um, and research if they have a room of potential uh, uh, promotion in the company for you. You know, you research all this stuff and you can ask that question as well when you get there, if you have room of, uh, of promotions, for promotions. Now, number five, we can talk about the uh, address. Do you know the address where the company is located? Do they have many branches? Where is a particular branch where they have invited you to? So you research that beforehand and make sure that you are on time on interview day. If you're supposed to be there by 10 a.m. in the morning, be there by quarter or 10 to 10. Okay? Don't just get there. Get there 10 minutes before just to impress that manager because that is going to be... that you, you will impress the manager for sure. Oh, she's here 10 minutes before time. So it's already a plus. Okay? Don't just say because they've said 10, I'm going to be there. No, 10 minutes to 10. 10 to 10. Or quarter to 10. Get there before. Before the, 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 the time. Okay? Then when you're there now, they will say to you, Oh, you're already here. Take a seat. Or perhaps, would you like a coffee? Or drink just smile always give them a good smile okay so body language as we're talking about fun uh, when we talk about address now I'm just gonna round up by saying that your body language is so important the way you sit and the way you look you know keep a nice body language speak well and think about speaking before speaking think don't just flash your answers. No. Think. And if you don't listen, ask your employer. Tell to him, please, I didn't listen. Could you please repeat this question? And they will be happy to repeat. Okay? Don't pretend. Don't fake it. Be real at your interview. Tell them how much you, you need this job. And it's been your dream job. With You dream to work for their companies. Maybe for some times. And... This job, you are really uh, 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 optimistic about bringing a lot more to this role, like a great customer service, you know, or organizational skills or communication. So tell them about the stuff you bring to the company, and and and, and tell them as well about your past experiences. You've experienced working in a similar role in the past, and you've been a team player, and it's been it was a great experience. And uh, don't be afraid to, to talk to them about those stuff. And um, if they say, for instance, at the end interview, that, oh, well, we're going to get back to you. And we can think about, um, we're going we're gonna to get back to you. You ask them, when am I likely to hear from you? Is it in a couple of days? So don't be afraid to ask questions. Because the more you ask questions, it shows that you're interested. For instance, whenever you are... You met someone you like, like for instance, a relationship, though we're not talking about relationship here, I'm just gonna, it's just an example. If you show interest in someone or a child or whatever, you ask questions because you're, so the same way, show interest by, uh, ask questions to your employer or your interviewer and don't be afraid. Uh, obviously, you don't want to bombard them with too many questions, so <laughs> a few questions will do. Um, yeah, uh, guys, uh, well, it's been great talking to you, and um, I'm sure that these skills will help you um, uh, bring in much to companies, and hopefully you will always do well at your job interview. So remember to dress smart and to speak well, and um, to keep the body language, the right body language, from the beginning of the interview to the end. And um, if they offer you something to drink, take it and say thank you. But if not, don't ask them, can I have some water or can I have something? Do not ask them stuff for eat, to eat or drink, things like that. Um, and, but do ask them questions 
related to interview but if they offer you as i said if they offer you coffee or drink it's up to you if you want to have it but avoid asking related food stuff but stick to interview anyway make sure that you sell yourself well and please do not be afraid to sell yourself with excellent word i'm an excellent communicator i'm excellent at customer service i've been excellent at doing this role in the past don't be afraid you know it's not pride no it's just about giving them the best you know because there is competition all right guys well guys it's been nice speaking to you and uh please if you have comments and like do uh comment below and uh, you feel free to ask questions about a future and interview and stuff um i'm always willing to answer those questions by the way i'm sitting here to give you this advice because i've been through that stage before like applying for jobs and stuff until you get to that point where you sell yourself well you know uh, 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 yes it is what you want aiming at selling yourself well and um yes please guys do 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 and i by the way i'm a business graduate i've studied business and uh how to manage stuff and i've studied things about interviews and stuff so i can help you please drop a question and i will answer you thanks guys uh see you in my next vlog it's been nice speaking bye